All right, I recorded some interactions with the librarian and the cops she eventually called who showed up like 30 or 40 minutes after she told me that she was gonna call the cops. I will not be uploading right away though because I'm still in the city. I still wanna use the li library. Last time I put a complaint video up about a library, I was at the library and within a couple of hours the cops were there talking about how I made a video of this librarian. So that's not going to happen this time. Instead, I'm just going to make video audio notes about the circumstances. This situation and just the whole Pacific, the North Pacific, the Northern Pacific part of California and how it's so anti-hippie. Because in Oregon, at least in the northern to the mid, where I've been in Oregon, along the coast, uh, mostly seems fine. There are some bad cities like Seaside, which which is just horrible. The library is good, okay, for example, but the, yeah, $700 if you're caught sleeping in your car, fine that they give you, wow. And, and uh, Washington is mostly good and we're talking about reduced populations getting further up north anyway so I'm guessing the libraries just they don't have the volume to have to uh, process at their libraries alright yeah but overall these these uh, northwestern the northwestern part of California it, it unplugs the internet at night in a lot of places uh, first place I noticed was Garberville. I haven't hit all the cities, but yeah, Garberville is one I stopped at. That's a little further inland, but it's a part of like the main highway to get north. It turns you in to the mountains, maybe for reasons because of uh, a lot of landslides occur along the coast. A lot of times roads have, the, the Highway 1 has been washed out. The Highway 1 has certainly been washed out in many parts of the Pacific Coast and that could have been what caused the redirect. But I, I stopped in Garberville to use the library. It's, the library is closed Sunday and Monday and then when it is closed they just unplug the internet. You don't even see a signal. And I started notice, and, and, and yeah, once again, they're closed Sunday and Monday. And Garberville is where it really starts for the libraries closing on a Monday. So, for as far no south as Garberville, that area roughly, they close on Mondays. And then they, sh they also un unplug the internet. And, and then further north you go, like Fort, Fort uh, Bragg, they, they, uh, they're closed on Monday and they... They have reduced uh, Wi-Fi availability. Uh, they don't. They don't exactly unplug their Wi-Fi, uh, but it's it's maybe shut down at 9 p.m. or so, 8 p.m. Maybe it's yeah. It's more like 8 p.m. actually, because in Fortuna, the 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 Wi-Fi shuts down at 8 p.m. But on a on a Tuesday, the library is open till 9 p.m. But the, the Wi-Fi shuts down at 8 p.m. while I was in the library on a Tuesday. I was like, what's going on? You know, the, 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 the internet just shuts off. I was there at 8 p.m. It shut off. And I told the librarian that. They have signs that say it closes at 9. But they're, that, the libraries are, are much more strict than the northwest part. Just that... And, and there's there's other strict strict li types of libraries, but these, these seem to have a bit of a pattern with just, I don't know, more closing on Mondays for some reason. Maybe they have a reduced budget, all right? They, they can't afford to clean up after the mess that occurs from people who might want to hang out there all night. I mean, the types of crowds that they're uh, um, serving are hippies, young hippies who just... I, I smell marijuana smoke all over the place when I pass by people. I smell more marijuana than I do tobacco in the northwest part of California. And and the people live with a lower standard of living, okay? They don't need to take showers twice a day or once a week. They just they don't need to wash their clothes all the time. Maybe they don't need to eat the healthiest either. They need to get 
they need to have their their weed. They need to be able to to get into. Um, they need to listen to music, get into music concerts, listen to listening to music. Some carry around guitars. They need to bring their dogs with them. Maybe one out of one out of twenty, one out of thirty hippies around this area have a pet. <laughs> Some people have two pets in a small van. Okay, with two people and two pets in a small van. Um, and they're mobile. They don't. They don't have a home. They. They're not. They're just sleeping where they lay. Okay, and they're not invited to sleep on the library property, around it when it's closed or inside it when it, even when it's open. And, but that's. You know, libraries have that. You can't sleep inside a library. And that's a rule for libraries across the whole nation. But uh, some some libraries. It depends on the librarian and how they enforce it. Um, but it's hard to say. This is the thing that really bothers me is it's hard to say when there's going to be a big crowd coming to the library because everybody's so mobile around here as hippies and young hippies who have grown up with the internet uh, are, are going to be attracted to the library. When I was in Garberville, it seems like that was like the first stop for a lot of them to discover that there's just no Wi-Fi when the library's closed. But it's it's a focal point for young hippies because everybody's got to have a smartphone, and I'm sure not every hippie can afford the the phone um, Wi-Fi connections. So they're they're looking for free hotspots a lot, and the libraries in the in the Pacific Northwest of California are not serving that that crowd. Okay, you don't know how big of a crowd you could have like you know fifty hundred people just show up. Okay, they all could be just traveling at once. It just, uh, um, it, it just happens to be a random. It could be a random thing where it's just a big crowd of people that show up. It's not exactly an, an even trickle of people, so all the seats are filled, and you know people leave. The you know the seats are, are pretty even. Sometimes there's going to be a big crowd and just take up all the all the chairs, all the plugins, and it's just a big crowd. Sometimes it could be just very quiet. There could be nobody, you know, practically. And I've I've been in my travels to, to places where it's like uh, there's big libraries and there's barely anybody there it seems <clears throat> and there's small libraries that are just really really crowded and it's it's hard to gauge that so maybe maybe there could be better metrics for the libraries to communicate with each other counting the people that come in in and out or even approach people that maybe count them when they're standing outside the library somehow find a, find a way to do that uh, but but either or it's it has uh, stressed this particular library to the breaking point and it may not it may be that the librarian is not the most qualified okay to be heading this particular library she does seem really stressed out but she does deal with a lot of hippies who have unusual um, you know they're counterculture Okay, they just they 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 would sit on the floor. They don't care, uh, but the librarians have rules, all right, and uh, they they could communicate that better. Okay, and and one of my complaints it would be my first complaint would be put up more signs, put up a sign that says uh, the the I'm not going to go into detail of this situation. Put up a sign to let me know what the problem has been. And uh, what what I what I should probably be more aware of instead of having to verbally tell me. If you constantly have to verbally tell individual people of of a particular problem, then maybe you need to uh, communicate that more uh, with us one single message that reaches all of them at once, rather than in communicating to everybody individually. Okay, so. Uh, I think she's just a student, <clears throat> but uh, that's uh, I don't know how how this sounds as a video. I'm just I'm making my complaint. I'm saying the whole Pacific Northwest and California for libraries is is not very it's not very catering uh, to 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 patrons. Uh, not not like not in, in comparison to a lot of other libraries I've been at. Not like other libraries, um, but you know who who am I to you know judge the the free services you know